And yes, there was a third. Uh, this video is for those of you who need to identify the slope of a line you've already drawn. So one of the big things that I recommended you do if you were drawing your lines first was to make sure that they touched at key points, that you weren't just drawing lines without having them connect to the intersections. So um, one of the students was gracious enough to let me copy uh, their work so I could use it as a demonstration. So what this one video is about is we're going to take a, uh, we're going to find the equation from the line. <laughs> That's awesome writing. <laughs> All right. So this is a, it's everything you know how to do, right? It's just a slightly different order. So what is my formula for slope intercept? Well, it's y equals mx plus b. I'm going to go over this again because some of you may not have watched the other videos and that makes things challenging. But that's all right. We'll get you caught up. That's what I'm here for. M is slope. It is how far the line goes rise up over the run or the change in y over the change in x. Okay, I'm really hoping this is becoming second nature to you. Okay, because this, this is the unit right there, y equals mx plus b. b, what is b? b is my y intercept. So here's my graph. Whatever b is, it's the first point on the y-axis. Don't make it complicated. If b is minus or is b is positive 2, that's what it is, minus 2. Now, coincidentally, if we have a line that crosses through positive 2, you can already put y equals blank x plus 2. This number goes at the end, just like your constant in algebra. Same unit, just slightly different focus. Uh, this slope, what would this slope be? Let's just take a look. Uh, let's say for every 1 it goes up, it goes over 1. So this is up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. What would my slope be? That's a rise of 1, a run of 1. The slope is 1. Okay, let's get to it. So here is this awesome piece of artwork. I really like this one. This is not his original or her original. I'm just going to scratch off the name just to protect his privacy. Okay? Now, or her privacy. <laughs> All right, so nice thing about this is that these two lines, see these two big lines? This line and this line. They go right through the center. So from our last video, um, anything that has a rise, I mean has a b of 0, all we have to do is find the slope. So this is going to be y equals something x. So let's find out. This one here. Uh, now I'm going to draw on this. You don't have to. Now maybe I can lower this down just a touch too. Here we go. So I'm starting at the origin and my first points are 1 and 1. 2 and 2, 3 and 3. See that? I'm going up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So this line here, the first one, the slope is 1 over 1. Well, that's 1. We put it into our formula. y equals 1x. There you go. Write it down. y equals 1x. Now here's a cool thing. Is this a positive or a negative slope? It's going up. This one here looks like it's pretty much the same line, but it's going down. If I have a negative line or a negative slope, that means the slope must be negative. Let's just double check. Down one, over one. Ah, down one, what does that mean? Down one, that's minus one, over one. Minus one, over one. This line is gonna be y equals negative one x, or negative x. Let's write it down. y equals negative x. That one was pretty easy because it had no y-intercept. This one here, look at this. What number is that? You probably can't read it because it's not so clear. That crosses x at 6. What do we know about a vertical line? x equals 6. x equals 6. This one over here, you do the same thing. Okay? You can even draw in a couple of horizontal lines there. That'd be cool. Or not. Let's pick one here. I like this one. 
uh, let's do this line right here. Okay, so you guys might not be able to see that, but this number right here is negative 18. So we're gonna write down our y equals mx plus b. If it crosses the y-axis at eight, negative 18, do I not already know my b? Yeah, I totally do. Now let's find our slope. The key here is you are looking for a point where it, cro where it hits an exact corner of the line. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up so you can really see it. This one, not quite. This one, not quite. This one, not quite. This one, not quite. That one hits it perfectly right on. If we have something like this one here, no, I just messed up that up. This one here. See how that one there doesn't quite go through the center of that line? This means that I'm guessing. This would actually be like, what? Two and five eighths or something. We want it to hit as close as we possibly can. We did this practice in class. Once you have those two dots, just draw in the triangle between them, like so. Now, let's double check it. How far, what's my rise? One, two, three, four, five, positive five. What's my run? One, two, three, positive three. Which one comes first in slope? Rise. I get positive five over positive three x minus 18. That's it. So this line is gonna be y equals five over three x minus 18. So we're just trying to track that down. I'm gonna do one more, just so you can see a negative one. All right. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Which one? These are interesting lines. I really like them. These, oh, that's cool. That's fun. Let's do this one here. Right here. Uh, that one doesn't go to a clear point. Well, let's see. I think we can call that 15 right there. So my B equals positive 15. So there we have it. Let's do this one together. I'll pull it up. All right. Not clear, not clear. That one's pretty clear. Not clear, not clear. That one's pretty clear. See how it repeated itself? Not clear, not clear. Yeah, that one's pretty clear. But I think I got it right there. Okay, now here's my triangle. I started here, I went down two, over two. The down two is the negative. Negative two, positive two. Okay, so we go. It's funny, it must just be how the Sharpie is. M is going to be negative 2 over 2. Well, that's just negative. It's, eh, isn't that interesting? 1, 2. Oh, that's 3, Mr. Paul. No wonder. That didn't make sense at all. I just can't count. Let's double check. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. Yep. Negative 3, positive 2. My M is negative 3 over 2. My formula, negative 3 over 2x. My B plus 15, you're done. Y equals negative three over two X plus 15. Good luck guys, that's all there is for that one. So label every line. Um, if you have troubles, uh, take a picture of what you're doing, send it to me, ask me questions, come and see me early next week, whatever you need. Have fun, color them beautifully. All right, this is Paul, Mr. Paul, signing up.